Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're here in Redruth. So today we're here to film a six mile circular walk starting here in Redruth, taking you out through some of the Cornish mining heritage that's local to this area that Redruth built its wealth on many years ago and then to the summit of Cambrai to explore the monument and the castle returning from our country lanes to here in Redruth. The starting point for today's walk is Redruth railway station which can be found at the top of town on Station Road. I think I know why you've brought me up here. <laughs> <laughs> so from here it's possible to see our destination. Yeah, which is over there. On top of the big hill, which is called Cambrai. You've got the castle and the monument up there. Oh, intriguing. So I wondered if it's possible to do a walk from here, in Retroof, up to Cambrai, but also taking some of the mining heritage around this area as well. And I guess because we're here today you've, you've figured it out. Yeah. Hopefully. This is a Cornish Walking Trails homemade original walk. For full written instructions and a video guide too, why not join us on Patreon? Link in the description. But you wait for one to come along, two come along at once. going to take a little detour down to yeah, so I want St Raymond's Garden. That's right, and also got Murdoch House down here as well. Yeah, it's just down here isn't it? So St Raymond's Gardens is in the old Druid Hall which burnt down and when they never rebuilt it they decided to put a gardens in it. William Murdoch lived in this house 1782 to 1798 made the first locomotive here and tested it in 1784. So there is a celebration of Murdoch. He is um, quite well known in the town, one of the town's more prestigious, famous people. We have Murdoch Day here in Redruth every June. Much better than Trevivic Day, which is in Camborne. Yeah, if you live in Camborne, very sorry. <laughs> when we do our Camborne walk, Sarah, remind me to say that Trevivic Day is much better than Murdoch Day. Oh, good point, yeah. So this building behind me, Sarah, yeah. is the Druids Hall. It's built in 1859. It's got nothing to do with Druids as far as I know, but it was actually the original sort of theatre here in Redruth. Eventually became the first cinema before the Regal Cinema was built. Anyway, it's claim to fame. It's back in the 1880s. There was a young lady called Fanny Moody. And she was actually, she went on to be a very famous opera singer. She's possibly the second most famous person to have come from Redruth. Yeah, okay, never heard of her, but yeah. yeah. We'll get a picture. Right, so now you say to me, that's interesting. That's interesting. Who's the most famous person to come Who's, out of Redruth? Who is the most famous person to come out of Redruth? Well, that would be Mick Fleetwood from Fleetwood Mac. The no. Yeah, he's born in Redruth. Well, wow. Yeah. So you didn't know about that? No, I didn't know that. Uh, an interesting fact. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> if they were around in the same era, so you had Fanny Moody yes. and Fleetwood Mac, yes. if they did form a very popular beat combo group, what do you think they would call themselves? Moody Mac. I was going to go with Fanny Mac. <laughs> I think we'll leave it there. It's at the bottom of the You've put me up now. <laughs> if you can think of a better title, put it put in it the comments. Put it in the comments. Redruth Drapery Stores. This town must have had some money at some point. Yeah, Cambrai. There's lots of granite boulders and stuff. I hope we're going a less strenuous way than that way. Yeah, I found uh, an easier route up there. Oh. But that's eventually where we're going to be going. It's Church Lane, Sarah. Yes. Which obviously goes to the church, which we're going to explore in a moment. And on the left hand side, we've got the uh, churchyard here. This lane, this is where William Murdoch tested out that first locomotive. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the right going down? How on earth did you get back up again? <laughs> pushed it. <laughs> pushed it, yeah. <laughs> I've got a lovely quote in an old book though. 
You got a book? <laughs> yeah, one of our numerous books. So this is the archive photographs of Redruth by Paddy Bradley. And here's a picture of Murdoch House. Oh yeah, where we just Although been? The, the steps seem a lot lower. Oh, we do, don't they? Quite, quite the there same. was a fire. Ah, so it had to be rebuilt, didn't yes. it? Yes. And it says here, it was also in Redruth that he made and tested the first locomotive in 1784, a small self-propelling engine, which he took to Church Lane near St Uni one dark evening. In the process, he almost frightened the life out of the local rector because <laughs> it came spluttering along in the dark. <laughs> and the poor chap never seen anything like it before. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that, can you? Yeah. So that was here then? Yeah. Brilliant. Wonderful book this. I do like looking at the old photos. Come on, we've got walk to do. The first church in Redruth was here at St Uni as we're wandering down. This is the first church. And because of the swell in the population during the period of the industrial mining, in order to cope with the size of the congregation, there is a massive graveyard here on our left. Hundreds of graves in it, isn't there? Yeah, it's an old graveyard as well, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we're here at St Uni Church now. We're going to go and have a little explore. It looks like it's open. Let's go in and have a little look. So the unusual thing about St Uni Church is it feels very much like a chapel because it's very square and Georgian inside. In most Church of England churches, you have all that ornate, like architraving and um, what do they call those arches that go up into the roof and barrel vaulted ceilings. And that's just like a chapel, complete rectangular block. One bored dog. Have we been chatting too long? Have we, baby? Oh, sulking as well. So here are photos of Elizabeth of York and Henry VII. It says here, many churches were rebuilt in the 15th century, St Uni among them in about 1490. The church tower dates from this rebuilding and some say that carvings of Henry VII and his wife Elizabeth of York look down from high above. We need to look for a couple of carvings of gargoyles on the tower I reckon. I just saw that, fantastic. Gotta find a view of this tower. Chop back those trees. No good. I can't see the view of the tower. Isn't that one there? Yeah. That's from the 12th century apparently. He's a beauty Norman isn't he? Gargoyle. 12th century? It's called Norman apparently. Called Norman. <laughs> We're going over here. It's right at the top there, right? Just underneath the battlements. They could have easily just been a lord and lady though. Not necessarily. The... Oh, she's got a crown on though. Ooh, intriguing. Another unusual feature of St Uni Church, Andrew, is it's got an unusually long coffin stone in the lich gate. It's said to be for funerals where several coffins will be brought at once and that's because of the fact there was lots of mining disasters in the area. So multiple Deaths. funerals. Yeah. yeah. This building used to be a pub and there used to be a courtroom held upstairs and there is a story that the floor gave way because there were so many people in there one time listening to the fate of a criminal person. Just imagine them on a Sunday falling out the church. I know, you got the, into <laughs> the, the church pub. into the pub and then from the pub back into the church to repent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you know what it was called? Um, yeah, the Plume of Feathers, wasn't it? Ah, that would make sense because it's now called the Feathers. Feathers, yeah. yeah. We've got to Wheel Uni, so we're going to have a little explore. Back in town we were noticing those fantastic facades, the drapery stores. And the reason, the thing that funded all that, financed all of that and reduced wealth, was mining. So Cambrai is granite, and where you have a huge chunk of granite like that at the edges, you get your deposits of minerals. So all the way around the foot of Cambrai, Loads of mine shafts were dug in the 1800s. These two were obviously the last to be worked because what they used to do was to 
totally dismantle them when they'd exhausted the copper and the tin, find a new load and rebuild them. The ultimate recycling. So let's have a look at one. These two up here, brilliant examples. You've got the winding house and the pumping house. So the pumping house literally pumped the mine dry. The winding house took the men up and down and brought the ore up. Careful, whoop, stay. Good boy. It's quite breezy out here today. Have you found a plaque to tell us if this yes, is the winding? This is a, a pumping engine house. It's actually called Heinz Shaft or Heinz Shaft. H I N D S. It's named after the chairman, I think, of the company. So this would have kept the mine dry? Yeah, built in 1869. Uh, it housed a 70 inch cylinder beam engine for pumping water from the shaft, and it mine closed in 1892. This one, much smaller, is the winding house to take the men underground, bring them back up again, and to bring the ore up. Again, this side is where the beam engine would have come out. So there must be a shaft in front of us here. What is that in your hand? Ah, well, I've got something to show you. Yes. And I've got something to ask you as well. Ah. So this is to show you. This is an old Ordnance Survey map of Red Roof from 1906. Oh, It's wonderful. got this mine complex on here. Let's have a look. I'll have a sh show you that. So what's your question? Well, my question for you is now St Uni's Church is spelt with an E. It's E-U-N-Y. Yeah. Whereas this is known as Wheel Uni. U-N-Y. Yes. On my map from 1906, they also talk about the church as being St Uni with a U. Yeah. Yeah. So when did it change? And why? And why? And I've got problems with my map. Yeah. <laughs> you got there? <laughs> oh, if only I had one that said Andrew on it. Oh, if only. <laughs> hey! Snap! <laughs> Brilliant. So these were sent to us, weren't they, by uh, Leah? Thank you very much. Fantastic. Just a bit grumpy. I don't have a grumpy face. Because he wanted a spectacular day and we were promised on the weather forecast that this would clear, that we'd have a lovely glorious afternoon. So we timed it, hoping that would happen. And instead of that, I can feel drops of rain. <laughs> David Brain on spotlight's never wrong, Sarah. What are you trying to suggest? Um, just look around you. <laughs> I still think it might clear. Along this track on the right hand side, you can see the sea. You can see St Agnes Beacon and you can see the mine stacks that we were looking at there a moment ago. Fabulous views. So you're already getting the sense that when we get up to Cambrai, it could be even better. I just wish this wind would die down a bit. So one of the things you do notice about this area is the amount of abandoned mine buildings. There's some up here like cathedrals. We walk in them, they're the old stamps of engine houses where the crushing machines used to bash all the, the stone and they're just huge. You do get a sense of the scale of the industry at one time. Fast building, isn't it? Just imagine it oh, with a roof wow. on. Oh wow, gosh it is, isn't it? Very so that's big. That's the engine house to drive the stamps machine, isn't it? Oh yeah. So this area was kind of redeveloped or renovated, how would you say, stabilised in the early 90s and they put up some boards like this. So if you're really interested, you can have a good old read when you're in here. But you can still, even if you don't want to read all that, you can still appreciate the vastness of this building. something quite majestic in its decay really isn't there. I'm going to go and retrace our steps back up to the 
path we were on a moment ago. This is the village of Khan Kai. Look, they've got an old mine wagon. Isn't that looking pretty? Is it Khan Kai Methodist Church? Doesn't look as though used anymore, does it? No, it's got a date stamp on the top, 1905. Um, so that would have been on your 1906 Ordnance Survey map, I expect. Oh, yeah. We're heading up to Cambrai now, yeah. aren't we? That's where we started over there. <gasps> Goodness me, it looks quite a long way on the map, doesn't it? Oh, look at these information boards. I love this up here, sir. At the top of the sign, I don't know if I can reach up right to the top, but it says Car and Kai. Uh, in the parish of Alugan, in the Duchy of Cornwall, there's a literal meaning of dog rock pile. <laughs> so we are in dog rock pile. <laughs> Very good. I like this. This is supposed to be the giant's head rock. It's also known as the face rock. Um, can you see the face here? There's a nose. Oh, I'm looking at your face. Oh. <laughs> see the face here? <laughs> can you see the nose there? Yeah. Eye. Yeah. Mouth. Oh, and there's a guy right. posing there. Oh, are you so going to recreate that? Yeah, so I think it's over near of the, the castle. But you can see the church in the background. This is a long but gradual ascent to Cambrai. We're kind of coming up the gentle way. Yeah, it's just coming up the gentle way, isn't it? And the surface is good, you know, you haven't got too much to kind of challenge you, really. This walk actually tells you the story of the area. We're going further back in time now though, because there's we? been a castle or a fort here since 1100 and something. Yeah, and the castle up here has had many different uses over the years. No, one that I know of anyway is as a hunting lodge for the Bassets in the 1700s, wasn't it? Yes, and I think it's been a chapel at one stage. Oh, St Michael's Chapel, was it? Yeah. And currently it's a restaurant, I believe. Yeah, Portuguese restaurant, yeah. so... Also, another interesting fact... <laughs> yeah? ...is if you're a Harry Potter fan, mm. I think in the second film... Yeah. what the second film's called now. Chamber of Secrets. Right, is that the one with the little blue car in Yeah. It? Right. Well, the little blue car was stolen... No! Yeah. <laughs> And the police eventually found it abandoned at the top of Calm Oh, Road. I see where you're going yeah, with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Cool. So they've recovered it. It's not up here We've anymore. Got loads of random facts yeah. about Red Roof. How many random facts do you need? <laughs> that way. That way. Up a bit. Up, 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 up. Woo. I'm holding the monument. Well done. Don't drop it. Oh. oh. Doesn't look that big, does it? So let's go and explore that fantastic monument. Of course, it is one of those things that you can see even on the A30s you come down Hamburger Hill. It just dominates the landscape. I think we're about 730 feet above sea level. It's one of the highest points around here. And it is situated to just be seen, really, isn't it? Cambrai Monument was built in 1836. It's 90 feet high, a granite column, and was a tribute to Francis Bassett, philanthropist and member of the most important mining family in the area. It is an amazing place to see Cornwall laid out at your feet. You can make out Campbell, then you can make out St Ives Bay. You can see the coast for miles, Patrice. So looking out towards St Agnes Beacon and up. With the naked eye you can see the headland of Trevoz. Oh and the sun's just come out, doesn't the castle look amazing? Honey coloured granite. It's one of those hills up there you can make out all of the peaks and troughs of the old clay tips. Hamburger hills up there. And just in front of that rock is Wheel Uni, where we were earlier. There is an inscription on the base of the monument. It says, The County of Cornwall to the memory of Francis Lord of Dunstanville and Bassett, AD 1836. Yo. 
got good views up here, aren't you, Sarah? Oh, brilliant views. So over there to the left, I see Camborne. Yeah. Got Paul and the Luggan over there. Yeah. Red roofs over there. Yeah. And over there to the right, you've got the little village of Dog Rock Pile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that does crack me up. That is so funny. <laughs> At least it's Dog Rock Pile and not some other pile. Dog Poo Pile? <laughs> yeah, Dog Poo Pile. And now we're going to go over to the castle. You can't come up to Cambrai and only look at the monument. You've got to go and have a look at the little castle. I love the way that the rock actually forms part of the walls. It, it beggars belief why it even stays up, but it does. It's been there hundreds of years, obviously. Love it! Planet on it. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. I think they just whacked it up, don't you? I mean, it applies to building rigs. I think they said we'll put that stone on top of that bit of rock and see if it works. Still there. I know. Amazing. I will build a room on that rock. What are we looking at? There's a hole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Room, castle, gate rocks. Hole. Hole. Can I get through the hole? Oh no. Head away, dog. <laughs> ah, true. Oh, dearie me. Congratulations. He just went under a castle. Are we in general search of this face? On a rock now. Yeah. Cool. Oops, it's falling giant's, over. Giant's head, was it? Or we'll have rock to... face. Yeah. Rock head. <laughs> well, I think I might have found it. There she is, our intrepid explorer, Sarah, who's going to go mountaineering. You've got to get on the top. Do you want a ladder? You've done it! You've recreated the pose! Enough of these shenanigans, we've got a walk to do. I know, we've got to go all the way back to the station. We've I... got to retrace our steps now, haven't we? To get the path back to our truth. Yes. You spotted? It's really cute, little pussy cat. Oh yeah, very good. What's that? What's that? Pussycat. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you found in, sir? The Holy Well of St. Uni. And they reckon it was visited here by a Celtic missionary in 500 AD. Gosh, that's old, isn't it? But that's a lot of the um, Holy Wells. They think that saints and missionaries kind of tapped the ground and water appeared. But it's probably a spring, wasn't it? Well, I think there is a, a legend that if you um, either are dunked in the water yeah. or partake in the water, then you won't, hang. you won't hang. If you've done something naughty. So we're going to make sure you won't hang. I, I don't want to hang. No, I know. This bit looks a bit murky. Yeah, can I, you I go to the flowing the well. bit? Yeah, but that's not from the well, is it? I'll oh, do both. Got to do it from the well. I'll do the murky one first. Oh, you're mad. The one that the badgers are I wouldn't in. put that on my head. Ah, uh, you're like anointing yourself. Ah, oh, you've got green slime all over your head. Oh, I'll go in this bit. Then look at it. Look at it. How can I look ah. at the top of my head? I ain't gonna hang. <laughs> Should I dunk myself just to be on the safe side? something about the building opposite something interesting well for years I thought that this brick building here which is called the tram house was actually the tram house for the, <laughs> the electric <laughs> tramway which went from Red Roof to Camden okay and that ran at sort of the start of the 20th century but now but after consulting my wonderful book here Cornwall's electric tram cars yeah which actually has a Christmas present from my next door neighbour in 1986. Yes. <laughs> it tells me in here but it's actually the building to the side here which is now painted a light what, magnolia. yellow magnolia. That building there was actually the tram office and waiting room 
and I, from what I can find out the building on the left here the lovely brick building I think was a tea room so if you want to do you want to ask the people viewing if they can shed any light yeah I mean if they do know if they were around in 1906 put it in the comments put it in the comments Back yeah. where we started. We've made it. We <laughs> did it. Bridge. A six mile ish circular walk. I think we we've probably done about ten. <laughs> I feel so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I would thoroughly recommend it though, because it's easy. Anyone can find it. You can get here by bus, by starting it at the railway station, you can get here by train. And if you park in a car park, you can find the train station. So that's why we haven't started this walk in a car park yeah i it? think if you visit cornwall as well red roof is one of these places that you can easily overlook because it's inland but it's got an amazing history and you yeah. don't have to walk too far from the town center to find the old mining history as well lovely views up at cambrai as well oh fabulous and if you do walk through the town look up at the buildings it'll tell you the history the wealth that was once rattling around this town it must have been fantastic in its heyday yeah so we can't mark this walk because it's one of our own it's a homemade walk but uh, I had a great time, really yeah. enjoyed exploring Red Roof today. If you want to do it yourself, hop over to Patreon, I'll put the um, details in the description. We'll put the walk instructions and a really good walk video which gives you left, right, go straight ahead and all that sort of thing. So maybe we'll see you on Patreon, but for now, bye bye! Bye! Do you know you've still got green slime on your head by the way? I ain't gonna hang. <laughs> Let's get back to that car. widens take a footpath on the left signed great flat load public bridal week <laughs> oh God, I'm stuck here. we're in a church and I said bridal we <laughs> bridal we I don't want to do that in a church do you it's <laughs> <laughs> not good compose Right, you ready? <laughs> Stop thinking about bridal we. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Oh dear. Okay. After the houses die out and the road widens, take a footpath on the left. Signed, Great Flat Load. <laughs> you shouldn't be having this much fun in a church. I think you're going to have to do it. I can't read it. Out. Yeah, I can't see. I've got glasses on. <laughs> I'm sure I wouldn't say bridal we though. Stop it. I was reading it. Oh. <coughs> These poor people would be lost now. Okay. After the houses die out and the road widens, take a footpath on the left to continue uphill. Eventually, Will Uni trace your steps to the footpath. And do a little bridal we. Did you notice I didn't say that? Uh, concerned. Why? Well, I think there is a, another um, ancient legend about Cambrai. What? Apparently if you walk under the castle through that crack, yeah. um, I think that you become possessed. By what? I don't know. Where's this going? I don't know where it's going. You haven't really thought this one through, have you? Not really. No. Can, you, can you do a jump cut so good? <laughs>